Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. So as you all know, there's been a huge demand for our positional algo feature. We've had lots of comments and messages asking us about when we're going to make positional algo trading live. Well, we've finally done that. In this video, we're going to teach you how to build a positional strategy, how to back test that positional strategy, and then we're going to talk about how you can execute it in forward test and live trading and also some important points that you need to know before you go live. So in this video, we're going to start off by building any random strategy. It is not a strategy recommendation, of course. It's just to demonstrate how you can go about positional trading on algo test. So let's get straight into the video. So I'm on the algo test dashboard page now and I've actually built any random strategy just to demonstrate how this works. So let's click on that over here. So this is not a strategy recommendation, of course. This is just to show you how you can go about setting it up and back testing on algo test. So first and foremost, we're going to select the bank nifty index. Over here, typically you'd have intraday selected, but we're going to select positional. So that's the first thing we need to do. We need to select the positional tab and uh, we'll do it in this example on the monthly expiry basis. Over here, you set your entry time as well as your exit time. And over here, you have the entry days before expiry and exit days before expiry. Now, one very important thing here straight off the bat is this is trading days to expiry, not calendar days to expiry. Meaning if, if I select 11 over here, as I have, this means that it will take 11 trading days. It won't take the weekend and it will not take any trading holidays into account. It will only take the trading days into account. So make sure you keep that in mind. Okay, now scrolling down, you have your same familiar leg builder and we've built some legs just to demonstrate this. We're not going to focus much on the strategy. As always, we're just going to back test this and let's back test this from 1st Jan 2024 and click on start back test. Okay, the back test is complete. So your results, everything looks pretty much the same as it always did. We're going to, of course, add our taxes charges, add a slippage of 1% and then we get a more realistic picture of any kind of strategy. So again, we're not going to really focus much on this. What we're going to focus on is how you build the strategy. First thing you need to do is select the positional tab, select what expiry you want, monthly or weekly expiry, the entry time, exit time, entry days before expiry, trading days, right? Not calendar days, trading days and trading days for exit. How many trading days before the expiry you want to exit? So if I want to exit on the day of expiry, of course I will select zero. So that's pretty much it when it comes to building the strategy. Let's now go and execute this live. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to forward test it, but the same rules will apply for live trading. Let's go to positional BTSD forward test. You can see we've segregated this into two different types of uh, algo execution as well as forward trade execution. So we're going to select positional and all of your positional strategies will load here. The intraday strategies will not load here. And similarly, if I go to intraday forward test, the positional strategies will not load here. Right, so we made it a little simple for you guys. Now let's go back to positional. And this is the strategy, positional new, that one we've spoken about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on activate. And this pop-up is really important to understand thoroughly. Okay, so as per my strategy, it was 11 days before expiry you're supposed to enter. Today is not 11 days before expiry, but we can still enter if we want. And this pop-up over here, you can see a warning below that says, according to your strategy logic, your entry was supposed to happen 11 days from today, but we will take the entry today anyways, right? So the actual entry of my strategy will happen 11 days from today as per my back test, right? But let's say if I want to start trading today itself, I can do that. So in this entry time section, you see, you won't be able to change this date, right? Because that's going to be defaulted to today's date. However, you can change the time. So currently it is 2.50 p.m. Let's say if I want to change this to 55, I can do that. If I want to enter at 3.10, I can do that. So for now, I'm just going to select this as uh, 2 p.m. And exit time, this you can change. This can be different from your strategy as well. So in my strategy, I've selected four days before the expiry is when I want to exit the strategy. But here I can change it to whatever date I want, right? I can change it to any single date that I want. And as well as the time, I can change the time also. 
So I'm going to click on activate for now with these settings. And now the strategy is running. And I can of course square off, view trades, switch to manual, all of that stuff. You'll be doing the exact same thing when it comes to algo trading live with this strategy. But there are a few really important things that you must know before we actually go about executing your strategy. First and foremost, like we discussed earlier, the entry day is calendar days before expiry in the backtest page. We've already covered that, so we're not going to talk about that again much. But the second important thing to know over here is you must come in every day and activate your strategy every day. You must restart the strategy every single day. There'll be a restart button and only then will the algo logic be executed. So let's say if I forget to restart a strategy a particular day, then the stop loss, target profit, re-entries, none of that will happen. So every day I must come, log in and log into my broker as well and restart the strategy in order for it to work. Now we have a lot more information also on our algo test documentation page. We're going to link that in the description below. So please do check it out. There's a very good in-depth explanation of everything apart from just this video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you're just as excited as we are about the new positional algo trading feature on AlgoTest. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. AlgoTest. Test before you trade.